the Network for Community Water Services, NetCoas, is expressing its displeasure over government's uh, inability to manage small water utilities in communities uh, dotted across the country. The group says that many of the uh, boreholes and other uh, sources of water, mechanized boreholes uh, that serve as a source of water uh, for these rural communities continue to be threatened by infrastructure uh, or in the agri sector and also the lack of funding. There's more in this report. Since its inception in 1994, the National Community Water and Sanitation Program has increased rural water access in Ghana to 74% in 2021. Communities over the years developed local capacities for managing small water utilities and ensured continuous functionality of water systems through sale of water to finance operations and maintenance expenditure. But most community-managed water supply are presently challenged with grant access, commercial and blended financing for critical capital expenditure, severed water distribution lines by contractors and lack of access to smart solar water meters. Speaking at the first conference of the Network of Community Water Services, Director of Operations for the group Fred Asafweje expounded some strategies to mitigate the challenges. As for community managed pipe water systems, NetGoas will collaborate with Center for Water, Sanitation and Hygiene at Seawash to prepare specific project proposals and seek funding that is including impact, impact funds for implementation of key sustainability improvement interventions. We therefore call on government and all stakeholders to appreciate the role and conditions of community managed pipe water systems so as to plan for and extend the support needed to strengthen their place in the sector. Illegal mining activities continue to ravage water sources in most communities in the Ashanti region. Professor Imoro Brahma of the Planning Department of KNUST, however, emphasized that the management of community water supplies by traditional authorities could prevent pollution. Uh, when you leave it with Ghana Water and Sewage Corporation, where they take their water source from streams and dams, they run a high risk of pollution. But with community water systems that are reliant on groundwater, the possibility of pollution is limited. And so for me, I will advocate for the community water systems. Too. But that is not to say that the underground water cannot be polluted. It can also be polluted. But when you leave it to the community to manage, they can easily observe the source of pollution and stop it. Executive Secretary of NetCoas, Gifty Roda Afo, believes revenues accrued from water management systems could fail progress of other developmental projects in communities. We believe that they can sell their water with the help of what we are doing, giving them that um, ability to better account for it, and then also the meters that will, um, they will use in order to make money out of the water. So for NetCoas, we are here to stay and we are here to empower the communities. Vice President for the Association, Morso Hema, Kanai Champomeni Makotro Khan II, entreated communities with pipe water systems to become members of the Association for Long-Term Sustainability of Portable Water. On this note that I call on your respected chiefs, Queen Mothers and Honorable Assembly members to ensure that all community managed pipe water system within their jurisdiction register and become active members of NECOS to in order to guarantee the long term sustainability of safe drinking water supply for the people and those yet unborn. For Joe News, Emmanuel Bites Quickum reporting.